don't look so good. Sorry I said that. No, it's poor, really. I get that enough. Uh, okay, let's talk about his dimension that he's from. So you really are from another dimension, right? I was free. I just stepped through the portal and crashed. Fleeing from what? Fleeing? There were bad things happening back home. And as soon as I stumbled out of the portal, those really wicked scientists got hold of me. They sure love protests. We really don't want to mess with them. I think I met them too. I escaped, went undercover, and since then, tried to find a solution to finally get home. Which is where you come into play. This is so incredible. All my calculations, all my predictions. It's going to take years of studies to understand. I always thought parallel universes and different realities were a predictable possibility. But this... I don't even know where to begin. Don't worry. You know it, don't you? How did you escape? Through the door. When they were watching. What were you fleeing from? In your dimension, I mean. Someone blew up our planet. I would rather not talk about it. How did you manage to hide all this time? I made a small fortune playing a card game with fancy. Not because. Um, okay. With nines or without? Look at that. Without, of course. That's not really what it's all about. It all trumps. I had never given the concept of money much of a thought before. I believed it was a rather crazy idea. But I certainly do know how to play. With that money I went into hiding. Slowly disintegrating, trying to find a way back home. Really? That's it? End of story? All that jazz? The money? The need to get back home? And you just went into hiding? Sort of. How are you holding up? Don't worry about it. Can I ask you something personal? Yes? Are there more of your kind? Here? No. Scattered across manifold dimensions? Probably. But there are certainly beings from other dimensions right around us. Right now. The cat, if you ask me. With nines or without? Look at that. With, of course. That's not really what it's all about. Cool. Talk to him again. Don't worry about it. So when you were talking about the outlines of reality, I'm not an expert, but, well, I think it's coming from the neural network making up your consciousness. Temporarily disintegrates during the experience and then suddenly reintegrates. The real world, its outlines, become somewhat twisted. Or they feel some sort of tranquility. How do they think of it? Yes, there's a certain peaceful quality to it. And a deep realization of cosmic quality when you see yourself reflected in the universe. It is an extraordinarily distinctive sensation. You have to try it somewhere. Like, say, an insubstantial, incorporeal blackness? Somewhat energetic? Astronomical? The void? Exactly. How do you know that? I think I've seen it. Please, go on. See, you humans define yourself as some kind of entity that exists inside this corporal shell. Kind of a consciousness that is somewhat attached to this body and mass. Where it stems from and why it's there in the first place is totally abstract to me, right? And these two eyes of yours, they define the center of your cosmos of your perception. Yet there is so much more. You humans need to understand that there is more to the perception of the universe. It's all there. You are just incapable of seeing it. Distant stars and galaxies, sea beams, the Big Bang, all these things are visible. In order to gain a higher understanding of things, the fabric of the universe, to understand the very meaning of your existence, you need to overcome that self-centered view. You have 
Um, okay. That one. You make it sound as if everything we did was wrong. Let me put it this way. You have not experienced common people until you have heard it in the original revolution. Um, okay. Goodbye. So what do we do now? First, we have to construct a quantum discriminator. Second, save the world. Third, save Lazarus Taft. Okay, let's have a look around. Hyperlogic coupler. What's that? An empty jar. I'll take that with me. Um, what are all these? Okay, none of these are going to. I can't really use any of these, can I? No, okay. Turn the fishing rod. I wanted to return your fishing rod. Good! Did you get it by? Kind of. There is a lot going on in this lake, I can tell you, Professor. Just the other day, I caught a lot here in this big. So, let me take a look for your port item. Ah, there you are. Here's your whistle. Whistle? Whistle? Well, yes, your whistle. This is not my whistle. Not your whistle? Of course this is your whistle, your whistle. <laughs> I'm sure I'd recognize this whistle, if it were my whistle. I left you something completely different. Right. Mm -hmm. What was it, then? My... Uh, massage rod. Your what? I don't have no massage rod in here. As I said, here is your whistle, Mr. Tenhouse. Hmm. Thanks. <laughs> so she's basically just stealing that off. It's fine, I don't really care. Can't go in there yet. Are oh, the kids still there? Can we talk to her? Hi, Lainey. What's cracking? They are showing the great twilight area celebration marathon today. Twelve hours of bliss in a row. They're having the ever so riveting town fair outside. Wouldn't you like to go out to the real world once in a while? The real world is in there. Can't you see? Um. But there's ice cream and cotton candy. There's ice cream and cotton candy waiting outside. I'll think about it. But for now, I need to keep on watching. Okay, um, we've got a new thing over here. What's this? A pot. Okay. Let's go out here, see what we can get. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is cool. People. Mr. Tannhauser? Step right up. Hello. How do you know my name? It's a small town. Penelope Hayden's. My sister and I run the boat rental over at the lake. Oh, that's cool. So, are there any prizes? Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trubelanka. How much for a ticket? One ticket, 50 Fenix. But I'm afraid all tickets have been sold. Bummer. I'm sorry. I'll be leaving then. Oh, what's this? Is this 
person here. Out of competition. It's a shooting gallery for kids. Speak to this man. Patience, just a moment. Okay, our friend's over there. Do you want to speak to him? Baron? Mr. Tannhauser, good to see you. The pleasure is all mine. Are you enjoying the festivities? Yes. Take a look around. All these lights. The beautiful music. This is my truth. In all its splendor and glory. How's Claus doing? He's resting. My loyal dog. Okay. Sis. Have you ever heard the name Lazarus Tuft? Tuft? Yes. A real good for nothing. It's not that I don't like strangers, especially if they come as tourists to my beautiful triple book. But uh, I was suspicious of this. Mr. Taft, uh, right from the beginning. If you ask me, you better not mingle with him. Oh, well, I think I already... Well... I need to be on my way. Until next time, Mr. Tannhauser. I'll have a cone of roasted almonds, please. A cone of roasted almonds right away. There you are, sir. I think I have enough. Um, where is this man? Step right up! Step right up! Wanna put your brains to the test? A brains? What? Why not? Right, all right. That was ooh, not so bad. Just between the two of us. You could use a little dose of vitamins, don't you think? Always remember, a healthy body equals a healthy mind. Um, beautiful, ain't it? Mary, what's a sailor man doing out here in the sticks? Well, I don't like water that much. I'm just so happy to be here with both of my feet on dry land. But aren't those stereotypical sailor's clothes you were wearing? So? So you have a fear of water? I, philosophobia. It all started when I was a little boy. Back home, on a sweet summer's day. I was swimming in the lake when my uncle old suddenly cannonballed in. I will always remember these two massive cheeks rapidly closing in. To be honest, it's still haunting me today. I nearly drowned back then. <clears throat> but later I realized that was the day I developed this terrible, terrible fear of everything deeper than a puddle. So may I ask, why did you become a sailor man if you're so scared of water? I asked this myself many times. Well, my mother insisted that it would be best for me to face my fears. So naturally, I became a sailor man. This is so confusing. Walk a mile in my shoes. What happened to your leg? Well, that happened on my second job at the BM Transportation Company. I don't really want to go into details, but thanks to the mercy of a youthful instrument manufacturer, I got me this nice new leg. And due to a timely taking disability insurance, I now may enjoy a quite decent invalidity pension. Far away from the stormy sea. That's a nice story. Or is it a sad story? I can't decide. I think I'm needed elsewhere. Take care! Oh, what's this? Mm. 
Okay. Hang on, can I use... How do I use the... So the birds have disappeared. This bucket seems to have been hanging for purely decorative reasons. Okay. Oh, this is open now, isn't it? Can I actually... Can I get anything from there now? No. Oh, what's that? That's a ticket for the raffle. This must be my lucky day. Um... singing birds. Sometimes I wish I could be like them. If I could just fly south. I wonder if they would accept me as one of their own. We can feed them. There's a flickering light here, what can I do with it? The street light is flickering instead of a typical case of light pollution. Can I actually fix it? Okay, let's go back to the village, see what I can get from that area. I've got a ticket now. Step right up! Every ticket's a winner! No blanks! Guaranteed! Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Tour de Lanka. Okay. Okay, so what now? Can I talk to her? No. Oh, hey, they broke it. The they broke it. Oops. Oops, a daisy. Um. Can I speak? Can I speak to him? I just need a moment to reach a operation. No. Baron, Mr. Tannhauser, 
Good to see. The pleasure is all mine. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win anything? I won a pair of hiking boots. Oh. <sighs> Take a look at me. How am I supposed to wander anywhere? You, on the other hand, Mr. Tannhauser, you look at the time to be struck by wonder just once in a while. What about you? Did you have any luck with your ticket? I won this. Excuse me, is that uh, cat food by any chance? I am asking on behalf of Claus. You can have it. Cat food. Would you mind making a trade? Oh yeah, you can have it. What do you have in mind? You leave this delicious can of cat food to Claus and me, and uh, in return, I give you this new pair of hiking boots, size 13. What do you think? Sounds like a perfect deal. So let's make it so. It will be to your benefit. Astounding discovery. As it turns out, the town's only phone booth leads to some sort of secret passageway. Let's talk to that it woman. Leads right into the Millennium Cooperative's control center. Nice evening for a walk, isn't it? Eerie. There's something in the air. Can you smell it? Spruces. Spruces, firs, pines. I was always bad at telling conifers apart. Where spruces prickle, firs just tickle. Fur? That's Tana in German. Just like my name. Never thought about it. Why? What's your name? Tannhauser. We pronounce it Tannhauser with an umlaut. German roots? Yes, my grandpa. These things on the ground, we call them fir cones. As a matter of fact, though, they are actually spruce cones. Do you know that? What do you mean, actually? Well, fir cones come to pieces when they fall off the trees. Spruce cones stay intact. Some things, you have to see them. You're from around these parts? No, just visiting. Getting accustomed to it, I guess. Me neither. I come here for the beautiful view. Smoke? No thanks. I quit. The climate makes me feel a lot better. That's for sure. So what are you doing up here, all on your own? Fed up with all the hurly burly down there? I just like traveling. Always on the road, hiking and all that. Oh, okay. Finally, actually get a conversation. Uh, taking a break. See if we can say all of them. So you're taking a break? Oh, I lost my hiking boots. They just slipped over the railing. And now they're gone. If you ask me, we are really all in the same vast backyard. All this madness. Looking for some kind of meaning. Anything at all. Sounds a bit like you're going through a life crisis. Oh no. Quite the opposite is true. I gained insight. That's what I did. Insight. Exactly. That's it. What about the locals? Do you know them? Most of them. I'm actually visiting this place every year. What? 
Oh, I'm gone. Lazarus Taft. You know a man called Lazarus Taft? Yes, I do. Fascinating man. He absolutely crushed me at Bubble Cup once. No one knows for sure where he came from and what he is doing here. Legend says he bought the old mansion in the woods off of his Double Cup millions. He rarely ever visits town. Hardly surprising the way folks keep talking around here. Anyway, let them talk. That's my position. I saw you down there at the raffle. Yes, I tried my luck. Did you win? Just a snuff box. Such a I've sworn off the devil's feelings. You? I'm in possession of a pair of hiking boots. Didn't you say you lost your work? Yes, indeed. I'd exchange anything from my inventory for a new pair of hiking boots. Would you trade with me by chance? Your hiking boots in exchange for my snuff today. Fair enough. Oh, thank you. How nice. And they are perfect fit too. I've got to go. Okay. Have a nice evening. Thanks again. You're welcome. Finally I can make off again. I can hear the call of the wild. Farewell. Farewell. I have to insert a coin first. And we got a coin. No, okay, it's good. Speak to the sailor man. So I'm going to be trading a lot of things here. So sailor man, tobacco in it, something else. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win? Arr, just this voucher for the boat trip. Man, I hate water. And you? I won this. Is there snuff tobacco? Oh man. I love snuff tobacco. Would you like to make a deal? What do you have in mind? Would you like to have the voucher in exchange? You know, the one for the boat trip on that lovely lake. That's what I got at the raffle tonight. That's from the local boat rental. Yes. Do you want it? Okay, let's make it so. All right. Deal. Okay, so I got the, can I go on about then now? Kick it. I won this voucher in the raffle. I know, I know. How can you know? Yeah, my sister told me. She's hosting the raffle booth tonight. Who would have thought? Okay. Hey, sweetheart. Good evening. How much for the swimming animals? Oh, just pick one. The season is over, and I have a gut feeling dinosaurs will be out of fashion next year anyway. My bet is on foxes and crows. Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. How much for the swimming animals? Oh, just pick one. The season is over, and I have a gut feeling dinosaurs will be out of fashion next year anyway. I'll be leaving then. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Let's speak to her. Hey, sweetheart. Good evening. About the paddleboat over there, it doesn't seem particularly seaworthy. Why? What's wrong with it? I think it has a leak. 
The paddle wheel isn't in good condition either, if you ask me. Oh my, you see, I'm afraid it's the last of its kind. Its friends are already lined up at the driver. Do you think you could help me fix it? I can't really leave my post right now. I'll have a look at it. I should fix the loop. It's much too cold to go for a swim right now. Okay, I won't go for a swim. Oh, it's this area. My image of this innocent place has been tainted. I found a trash dump right in the middle of these woods, probably long established by the locals. The question arises, who would sink so low? Whistle. Whistle two times, leave delivery on doorman and exit the area. No advertisements. Talk to the tree. What? What? Ballad, symphony, the troublers. Oh, data Klaus. What? Uh, symphony. What the frick? A rope. Who the bloody hell is this? Gotcha! This is private property! And Who the hell is this? This time, boy, you've chosen the wrong neighborhood. Uh. I'm selling these fine massage rods. <sighs> Didn't you read the sign? <laughs> okay. Are you referring to the keep out sign or the one that says no trespassing? Very funny. You're one of them. I know. Confess. One of them? Oh no. Not again. Okay. I'll tell you once and for all. I'm not an alien. I don't care what you believe. A what? An alien? Ha! Now you think you've been clever, don't you? No, sir. And just in case you want me to take part in any tests, let me tell you. You government guys are getting more and more annoying. Wait, government guys? I already told you guys last time. Not on my watch. Name and rank, soldier. You're with the uh, CIA, BND, HVA, FBI, NSA. Spit it out. What? Name's Tannhauser. I'm a quantum physicist on vacation. Liar! That's ridiculous! You better tell me the truth, or else... Say something! Nice hat. Okay, I guess you're right. The quality of your lies doesn't imply a higher intelligence at work. Quite the opposite, in fact. So, what are you doing here anyway? The truth this time! The whole story! Well, it all began a few weeks ago, when I got this notification that said I won a trip to Europe. I was stunned, but Aunt Lottie gave her blessings. 
A prize like this should not be forfeited, she said. I might even be able to discover some distant relatives. Also, that I deserve to pray. She only wished for me to return safe and sound. So, after a brief visit to Berlin, I began my journey. And that's how I ended up here. Interesting story! I mean, it's ridiculous, but I'm inclined to believe you. Now, about the part with the Millennium Cooperative. I always had the impression that something wasn't quite right with them. Well then, bye. Feel free to visit me anytime. We can go into all the details. Name's Lessing, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna talk to him again. Special Agent Hans Tannhausen. I'm with the FBI. Very funny. Um, that. What do you know about the Millennium Cooperative? I know they're a bunch of powerful people. A secret society, like the Freemasons or the Illuminati. They are directing from the shadows, globally, playing governments like puppets on strings. They surely build something fishy up there in the mountains. I always knew it. Crikey, you must have been down the deepest depths of the rabbit hole. Of course I have. If you look at the ancient Sumerian and Babylonian writings, you will see a pattern emerge that... Ah! You hear that? Oh, stop it! Make it stop! Stop, stop, stop! It's them! They try to slowly drive me insane with their atomic radiation. Ever heard the term Saturn portal? Of course. In theory, the Saturn portal describes a kind of interdimensional opening, a gate to the stars, like a crossroads or a junction in space-time. That sounds familiar. That sure sounds a lot like science fiction to me. Well, it's all arcane theoretical physics, blending modern science with occult magic. They are trying to establish a connection to the southern pole of Saturn using Birkeland currents. Birkeland currents, ever heard of that? They flow through the Earth's magnetosphere out into the cosmos, in form of an electric plasma stream, a twist of helix, a conduit right up to Saturn, to free the entities trapped in there. If you look at the northern pole of Saturn, you will recognize that shape, the hexagon. Okay. What with your squirrel? That's drowsy. He's me friend, sleepy fella. Okay. So why are you living out here on your own? The government obviously believes that I'm a threat. Oh God. They declare me insane and put me in a sanitarium. Back in the days when it used to be a real sanitarium, before the cooperative took over, when things went down the drain, I realized that people like me have no place in a society like this. People like me have to disappear. Go undercover. We have to resist until our day comes. Okay. I think I've heard enough. Nice talking to you. Feel free to visit me anytime. We can go into all the details. Sir, can I take that? I can. His light's gone out and he's not going to say anything. Anything else I can take? What's that? No way. Brass is my kryptonite. And contact allergies are nothing to joke about. Okay, there's nothing else. Let's go back down here. I got a propeller. Can I interact with that now? Yeah, I can. This should suffice for a paddle wheel. Hey, it works. Let's do it. Let's use it. Where's it going to take us? Oh, I'm in a bloody swamp. The woods surrounding Kruberbrook emanate a dreary sense of blindness. 
I've rarely ever been engulfed in a more terrifying, dreadful environment. Not to mention there is a green glow spreading through the Fenwoods. Interesting. This is a creepy area. What's this? A coin. Okay. Cord. Beverly, I took a paddle boat and ventured forth towards the final frontier of this region, a forlorn swamp of ancient origin. On my way, I came across the mortal shell of a lost wanderer. Whether he was led astray by a wisp or fell victim to this region's mythical beast, the hook elf, remains a mystery to be disentangled. I can only hope to be spared of such misfortune. Okay. Oh, hang on, boots. Take the boots. They did their job. Or did they? Let's see if we have anything on it. Only if it helps to clear his identity, of course. An old rusty key. Okay, what is over here? Can I use a key on here? No. There's some over there. No trespassing. Sensation of discovery. Sign the Paleontological Society of Further Room. <laughs> Beverly, I now stand right in front of the legendary Trevorbrook specimen. This close. I find it all the less surprising people here have cultivated the myth of a sea monster. Head back, I'm now green. Ahoy. Oh, my God, I'm green. Ah, fuck her. You fixed the boat. How can I ever thank you? Don't worry about it. No, no, I insist. Please take this as a symbol of my appreciation. What's that? Will help me find my way around. Uh, thanks. Okay. No way. What's this? I will just select the other village. Okay, no, I don't want to go to the village. I want to go to the treehouse. Oh, there she, there's that woman. I need to go up there. Oh, hang on. Let's talk to her first. No, no, no. I don't want to go there. What's he doing on a speak to that woman? 
Go back down, zombie. I'll speak to that woman. Magic. Speak to her. village what I can use pills on them step right up step right up <laughs> mister want to test your strength again why not Too bad. Not too bad at all. I think we have a new champion. Congratulations. Here, this is your prize. A leaden trophy. Like a trophy made out of lead. This one's a real beauty. Thanks. Okay. Let's go speak back to Trudy. Also, not the most reliable type of person, if that counts as a feat. As you see, he's just left me here alone with all this work that needs to be done. Can you give me a description? Should you run into him? Is that why you're asking? Or grown, beauty tie, red nose, always wearing those yellow rubber boots. Oh no. How do you want to know? Oh no. I think I may have met him. I found his mortal remains out there in the mine. I'm sorry. Uh, are you sure? My condolences. Oh, Heinz. Poor old Heinz. Rest in peace. Can't say I'm really surprised. Thank you very much. I will inform the inspector immediately. You may call off the police. How come? I've got my notes back. But the inspector is already on his way. Then just call him off in person if he's early. As you wish. Would you mind looking for my real deposit? Come again. My massage rod. Your what? Never mind. I'll be leaving then. Make yourself a... Oops. Okay. Oh, she's gone because the TV's not working anymore. But I've got a key now. Perfect thing. Can I go in there now? Beverly, I have unearthed the gate to a sealed crypt, the cellar of this lodge. My descent begins. This is what Professor Lindenbrock must have felt when he climbed down this knife, Elzuko. 
I can hardly see a thing. Light the way, my friends. Oh my god. Am I going? Far down is this? Oh, what's this? Troublebrook's finest dry yeast. Trouber Lager Pills and Beer. Export. For the snack around the world. Malt. That say? It's a recipe for oh. lots of mushrooms, schnapps. Top secret. Let's see. Fruit, add malt, add yeast, season with a pinch of slumber morale. Dead simple. Fire making first. Oh, what's this? We need to find a way to ignite the gas. Oh god, I've got to go back up the steps again. It's a pretty cool game. I'm very tempted to upload it all in one go, but we'll see. If there's another game I want to add to our playthrough, so I might just have this other way. Uh, swamp. Is that swamp? Yes, okay. It is a well-known fact that some mushrooms are held in high regard all over the world for their hallucinogenic effects. As a means of cleansing, to gain insight either metaphysically or mystically, or to make contact with the gods, even the cosmos itself. Triberbrook seems to be no exception, where people have been secretly worshipping the slumber morale for centuries. I'll speak to her again, see if she's got anything else. Hey, sweetheart. 
Good evening. Oh, got a light. Got a light. Of course. Here you go. Uh, thanks. I'll be leaving then. Ah, uh, back to the village. There we go again. Back down. I've got a light now, so I should be able to light that, shouldn't I? Okay, let's use this. Oh no, no, I need this, don't I? Let's light that. Okay, that's lit. Now, what do I do? This. What do I add next? I need fruit, don't I? I ain't got bloody fruit. So I need fruit. Hmm. Do I get fruit from? And if I get it from, let's have a look. If I get it from the inn, maybe from that table, this fruit or something. We'll try that. I just need to get fruit. I think I've got everything else but fruit. I think I've got fruit, have I? I don't want to take this with me. If anywhere, it belongs in the trash. 